could not be hard at all. So like, um, that's the thing. And for most business owners, traditional is a really bad decision for you don't control the rights. You don't own the royalties. You don't control the creative decision. It's going to take at least twice, usually three times as long. It's a huge pain to get a deal. Even if you can, you probably can't get one overwhelmingly, almost certainly cannot get one. But even if you can, it's a huge pain just to get a deal. And if you're a business owner or entrepreneur, that you're using the book to market you. Right. And a, but a publishing company expects you to spend time marketing their book because that's how they make money. It makes no sense at all for your audience to do traditional. Really, seriously, it's an ego play. And what's funny, it used to be vanity publishing and traditional like 30 years ago, right? And so if you went vanity, that was an ego play. It's actually reversed now. Now the people who are trying to prop up their ego are going traditional because they want to feel picked and important. I went, the gatekeeper selected me. I mean, David Goggins had the second best selling book of the year last year, and he went all through us. Can't hurt me. So Nassim Taleb, who I'm sure you know, his book's coming out in three weeks. He did it with us. The Nobel Prize Committee just did a book we just released, did through us. We're going through the list. Like a lot of really big players are moving into not self, but professional, which is like, a, a, it's like high end self publishing, basically. So give us.